Recently, I had the privilege to go candle pin bowling. The center I went to is one of the last remaining candle pin centers in the Midwest. On the wall, it does say Wyoming candle pin bowling, but I don't want you to get this confused with Wyoming the U.S. state. This is a city in Ohio, just north of Cincinnati. Now that that's out of the way, let's talk about the six candle pin bowling lanes. These lanes were built around 1950 and everything was restored in 2000. Since most of you probably don't know a lot about candle pin bowling, I'll point out the biggest differences between candle pin bowling and tin pin bowling. The most noticeable difference is probably the balls and pins. The bowling balls are the same ones I use in my mini lane, so they are 4.5 inches in diameter and 2 pounds 6 ounces. Then the pins are spherical so they can be set up on either end. Scoring in candle pin bowling is very different from 10 pin bowling. I won't explain it all in this video, so I'll leave a link in the description on how to do that. In candle pin bowling, you can either bowl on your socks or in bowling shoes. In this next clip, you'll see we're bowling in socks because we didn't know we could bring bowling shoes. But here's a clip of me bowling a strike. This may be hard to believe, but that was actually the only strike we recorded that day. We got all six lanes to ourselves for two hours and we paid $165. Now the rate you pay can depend on the day of the week and whether or not you're from Wyoming, Ohio. I'll actually leave a link in the description so you guys can go find out more information if you are interested in renting these candle pin bowling lanes. Everyone there at the Wyoming Civic Center was very nice, and they were even nice enough to let me go back to the pin setters and film some clips for you guys. So this video was a ton of fun for me and my family, and I hope you guys enjoyed it just as much as we did. So yeah guys, that is basically it for this video, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up, and that's it. I'll see you guys in the next one.